So I tried this Aztec Indian healing clay. Shook, 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 shook. Like, look at that. Wow. Shook. Like. Yeah. Baby, girl, you're so damn fine, though. Wanna know if I can hear it from behind, though. I'm sipping on you like some fine wine, though. When it's over, I press rewind, though. Talking bands, I got it. Benjamins in my pocket. I prayed in my truth for some robbers, and he's playing bad. I'm gonna be talking about the Aztec Healing Clay. It is the deep pore cleansing, 100% natural calcium bentonite clay. I've tried it before and the results, like, wow, I am actually blown away. So I thought, why not share it with you lot? Like, why not share it with you? It's one ingredient and it's literally 100% natural calcium bentonite clay. One natural ingredient, like you know exactly what you're putting in your face. But it's a con because you won't get the benefits of like other ingredients in other clay face masks. You can, so it says, feel your face pulsate. True. Facials, acne, body wraps, clay baths, foot soaks, chilled clay for knee packs. Enjoy the benefits of clay in your own home. Beautify and refresh. It says to mix the clay with equal parts of raw apple cider vinegar and or water. Let me tell you something about apple cider vinegar. Don't put that shh on your face. Don't do it. Do not put apple cider vinegar on your face. Do not put apple cider vinegar on your face i've tried it it stings like <clears throat> it stings when you really sit down and think about it and like you look at what apple cider vinegar is for why the hell would you want to put it on your face whether your face can take it or not why would you want to put something like that on your face yeah so don't do it so i'm just going to use the clay and the water equal parts when i first did it i used a tablespoon but i find that that was too much so i'm just going to use one teaspoon of clay and one teaspoon of water use a non-metal bowl and utensil stir the mixture well to a smooth paste add more clay or liquid as needed apply eighth inch to a quarter inch to the face or other area let it dry for five to ten minutes that shit took 20 minutes um for delicate skin and 15 to 20 minutes for normal skin you will feel a pulling and tightening sensation feel your face pulsate remove the clay by washing with warm water slight redness on the face if normal is normal i didn't get any redness maybe because i'm like a darker complexion and will disappear in about 30 minutes removes impurities dirt from the pores deep pore cleansing world most powerful facial yada 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 blah 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 it says use it once per week for the family more often for problem skin cool so we're gonna try it one minute the whole of that literally spilled all over myself so just to show you the consistency by the way, if you see the light in, if you see the light coming in and out, it's because the sun is coming in and out, and that's the lighting that I'm using to film the video, so, and if you see me keep looking up, it's because there's like a big mirror in front of me, and I need to remember to look at the camera, not at the mirror. <laughs> the consistency is like powder, literally, and you get a whole bunch of this stuff, so this can last you for like years especially if you don't use it often and to be honest you shouldn't use it often you should only use it once a week so it was 12 in the morning 12 noon that's when i wake up i'm hungry only should use it once per week you know sometimes when things say only use once per week and you know we use it like three times per week this thing only use it once per week because it really does work to 
purify and detox and take away all the toxins on your face and everything so make sure to use it once per week so I'm gonna take a teaspoon as I said before I tried using a tablespoon didn't work have my bowl teaspoon of water come and fly away with me 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 the spoon guys I recently got like a little makeup brush but it's so pretty that I'm just gonna use it for my mask so for all my UK subscribers I got this brush from Wilco and it was actually on sale it's usually like I think two pounds per per brush and this one was like 50p so yeah while you're watching me put this mask on click the like button it helps with the YouTube algorithm it helps me get more exposed it helps more people watch my videos it helps me get subscribers and watch time and I would greatly appreciate it so like the video subscribe if you haven't already leave a comment if, if you enjoy these types of videos because I enjoy making these types of videos so this Aztec healing clay was really popular about a year or two years ago so I know I'm a little bit late but I've heard quite good things about it in terms of getting rid of hyperpigmentation and acne scarring and just detoxing your face on Amazon it was 26 pounds but I got it from Afro Hair Beauty that's like a beauty online store and it was about 12 pounds including shipping so I would recommend to have a little look around the internet before you buy it from Amazon because I don't know why it's so expensive on Amazon and I feel like if you were to just go into a beauty store it would be even cheaper on our face for 20 minutes or at least 20 minutes is how long it took the last time for it to dry completely so 
I'm just gonna eat some food. Drink my tea. And I'll be back. seven minutes in and around my mouth is like completely dry basically but these areas here are still wet and that's because you know I put more on those areas but yeah I'll check back in when it's completely completely dry so where about 15 minutes in and it feels tight um, I'm gonna leave it on for about five more minutes because I think most of my forehead is dry most of my nose around my mouth this area still needs to dry a little bit um, my neck so yeah five minutes check back in so I've had it on for a total of 25 minutes. I'm gonna wash it off now. As you can see, it's basically, it like, you, <laughs> you can't move your face because it will hurt. <laughs> like that's how strong this thing is. Like it will hurt you. And it's also quite tingly. So I don't know if you've ever used like tea tree oil before when you put tea tree oil on your face and it just tingles. Um, this has that same sensation so when they say it pulsates it really does feel like it's pulsating like I don't know if you can hear it like look at that crazy isn't it anyways guys so I'm gonna wash this off my face really quickly and I'll be right back okay guys so I've just washed my face and Do you see the difference? Like, I have nothing on my face. It actually looks as if I've just taken a treatment, like a facial treatment. Okay. So, we're gonna go in with our aloe vera gel. So, what I try to do whenever I just do a face mask in general is I don't necessarily try and go in with any harsh chemicals so I just try to rehydrate my face as much as possible Again, for hydration. light moisturizer SPF 15 because I'm not going anywhere so I want to be protected from the sun but I'm not outside so I don't need the factor to be so high and then last 
I'm gonna go in with my 100% organic rose hip seed oil and this is just to help with the hyperpigmentation on my skin and it's also very moisturizing <laughs> You guys saw how my face looked in the beginning and look at it like wow it just feels hydrated and moisturized and supple and like wow shook <laughs> as I said only use it once per week because it is very very strong and it's very very drying to the skin and I recommend using just one teaspoon for your entire face as you can see like I used a little bit over a teaspoon and I still had some left back so I would recommend using just one teaspoon to one teaspoon of water if you choose to use apple cider vinegar that's your choice but I recommend that you don't because in my opinion apple cider vinegar should not be on your face so guys that's the end of my video as always thank you for tuning in if you're a returning subscriber thank you for watching this video if you're a new subscriber welcome to my channel you know i do skincare videos i do product reviews i do trials all types of shenanigans that has to do with your skin um yeah so don't forget to click that like button leave a comment as always let me know if you've tried it before and if it's done wonders for your skin in terms of like hyperpigmentation and acne scarring and also comment if you've always wanted to try it but you're a bit skeptic about it as well don't forget to hit the subscribe button i mean you're here already you might as well just hit the subscribe button so you can be a part of my family and also don't forget to turn on the post notification bell so that you can be notified whenever i do another upload bye